Mr. Speaker, it was the week before Christmas and the Prime Minister's cast were haunted by the scandals of ghosts from his past. The PM denied when the first ghosts came calling. That was Duffy Brazo and Pamela Wallen. They attacked allegations with Yuletide vendettas by stretching the truth and talking point setters. <laughs> the next ghost wrote a check that caused quite a fuss. In no time at all, he was under the bus. <laughs> they tried what they could to keep it from worsening, but then Deloitte call, got a call from Senator Gersten. <laughs> the emails police found that the boss wasn't sharing, that was thanks to the ghost of Benjamin Perrin. <laughs> Rob Ford's an old ghost that no one's enjoying. He's not really scary, more so he's just annoying. <laughs> But it's ghosts of the future who could possibly threaten. Think to Chuck Stuart Olson and Marjorie LeBreton. Like Dickens' great tale of the bitter old miser, we'd expect those in power to conduct themselves wiser. The truth will come out, we hope and repay, we pray, because Canadians know even Scrooge found his way. Yeah. <laughs>